This training was organized to boost awareness about the social cultural context in which farmers grow the mandate crops on which IITA breeding program focuses. Maize, cowpea, soybean, uh, banana and plantain, cassava and yam. With this training we wanted to really focus on a given importance to um, the possibility to identify and recognize social inequalities and also, of course, the social norms that um, reflect into the context where crops are being produced by farmers. I admit that the uh, gender and other social aspects were not very well integrated into our breeding program. And we had a desire to improve that situation, to uh, improve the way we consider gender and other social uh, groups into our breeding program. My expectations for the training was that I would be exposed to some gender concepts so that I have a better understanding and I will also be exposed to tools and, and methods for um, incorporating gender responsive breeding into the program and that I would also be able to learn from case studies that will be shared by teams who are advanced in this process and I think yeah, my expectations were pretty much led by the interactions that I had in the past three days. I learned how to uh, do intersectionality, how to interact about groups, and how to affect some, uh, uh, some role to breeder, to agronomists, to phytopathologists, to uh, processor, to farmers in each stage of our system of uh, uh, breeding. The expectations are met because, you know, we learn a lot of Thing. We shared ideas with, with anthropologists, social scientists, economists, and the gender specialists. And so we get a lot of uh, feedbacks from them, new ways of working, new ways of breeding, and how we include uh, gender in our breeding system, in our breeding value chain from beginning to end. And then we also gave them difficulties in, in like working with uh, different stratas of society so they also get some points from us we also get their own views and it's very good it's a good experience the 99 percent of my expectations have been met like here i was able to learn the gender um, equity and uh, um, equality and how to involve the, um, the disabled, the advantaged group you know, into this gender thing. Because gender is not only women, it has to do with men, it has to do with boys, girls, the disabled ones and also women. So, and all how to you know, help these people when it comes to what we are breeding for. Let, them, let their voice be heard and let them be able to make decisions. I also learned many new things like the new concept of uh, intersectionality, which um, I never heard about it. And then looking at that concept, uh, in intersectionality, it's something that will help us to capture so many uh, information. And that will help us to at least shape our own uh, product uh, concept, our product profile, and also design a variety with a certain objective that will go along to develop material to help us at least to deployed in a particular environment and then uh, there was a particular market segment and that will really help in adoption and that will help us also in what? In accelerating the process of development because different stakeholders are engaged in carrying along the different stakeholders that will really help us in deploying uh, the varieties. Uh, we have um, after training study that we share with the participants to see how far they have understood the, most of the activity being carried out and the training we are giving to them. And then aside from that, we are still working together in the one CGI app whereby each team can learn from each other and then from there we can follow up with anyone that has any challenges or they want support from the team that organizes the training.